Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be continuing our Trackmania Royal tutorial series. We're doing a drive through of today's new map. Uh, I'll be explaining to you guys if there's any tips or strategies that might be able to help you learn it a little bit better. Hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial series. If you are, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And for now, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are on today's new map. It's called Lit Lagoons by Zavik90, another uh, Zavik map. And his uh, maps have been a little hit and miss for me in the past. Um, but I think this one's really good. I think he's done a really good job on this map. I don't... The only real complaint I have on it um, is the green section. Uh, he made this speed check, in my opinion, a little too difficult. This finished speed check. If you don't get this section well, you won't make it. And I, I think it's a little bit much to ask beginners to make this speed check, in my opinion. Um, if this had been on, on blue or later, it's absolutely fine. But I think on green, it's a little bit much. You should have just moved the finish that little bit closer to make it a little bit easier so you didn't have to get this final corner quite as well. But I think it's still fine. I think everything else is solid. Um, there is uh, there is actually a little cut on black here, which I'll showcase, but uh, it's a little RNG. I don't think... People might go for it in super, but I don't think in regular royals many people will go for it. Um, red solid. Yeah, I think it's, it's a pretty solid map. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on the white section. Now for white, what we want to do is use these borders. So get onto the border and full steer. So when the corner goes to the right, full steer to the right. When it goes to the left, full steer to the left. It's actually a little bit faster to do it that way. And just drive through the finish. Okay, and now the green section. Uh, and I like the way this is done, how we sort of drive through the scenery and then find our way to the pipe. So we just go through the scenery here, onto the pipe, uh, more pipe driving. So again, we kind of want to just hug the inside of these, transition onto this, and this is the corner that we need to get well for the speed check. So if we don't get this well, uh, when I was learning it, I actually nearly, nearly failed it. So you see I'm jumping really, really low. I didn't get it great, but you need to get it fairly well to make the, uh, to make the speed check. Um, so, yeah, I don't agree with that, personally. Okay, and now the blue section. So what we want to do, drive on this platform, under the pipe here. Now, careful of these spinny blocks. Just make sure you're ready, because they do change direction. Make sure you're ready to catch yourself if they spin you one way. And now blue. We jump through the finish. And blue, you see, we barely need any speed, so... The blue speed check and green speed check, speed check should have been swapped in my opinion. Um, but that's the only real complaint I have, I think the rest of it's really fun. Okay, now for the red section, we get a booster onto this pipe. So what you want to do, um, and then we have to jump straight. So it's a little bit of precision and it's a little bit weird getting the booster onto the pipe. But just be ready, stay centered, make this jump, steer left after it. Oh, I thought I could make that bug slide. It doesn't matter, you don't need too much speed here. Uh, you pick up pretty much all your speed on the plastic here for this jump. And then we drive across the pipe here. Now after this rise here, we have a big aggressive spinner to the left. So stick to the right of that rise on that pipe and you'll uh, you'll make it across. And then just accelerate through the finish. Red's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's just that one difficult spinner. Just as long as you stay right on that uphill pipe, you'll be okay. Okay, now the black section, and I'll try and showcase the cut first. So let's do that. What we want to do is drop onto the pipe and aim just to the left of the tree in the water there, and hopefully bounce up the scenery. Yeah, we can make it up from here. Then we want to build up speed on this scenery and drop onto the plastic platform here. Oh, slow now because I hit that, but that's the general idea. Let me skip a little bit of the, the plastic, then make it through that spinner. And then the ending here is a little odd, but just basically slalom through and through the finish. I'll reset to show you the regular way on black. So let's do that now. So we're gonna drop onto the pipe this time and follow it around. Now, this spin is very aggressive. So you wanna sort of time your, your drive through it uh, just as it's about to stop, just so it, uh, it doesn't spin you. It changes directions and it spins really fast. So. If you can try and time it so it stops as you drive over it, that's uh, the best way to get through it. This spinner you just have to time again. We did this even on the cut route and then 
through this uh, section here and through the finish. You don't need too much speed for the black finish. You need a little bit. Um, as long as you get through without clipping any of them pipes, you should be fine. All right, so we'll do one more playthrough now. So once again, the white section, same as before. Get onto these outside railings, full steer with them. And then jump through the finish. Green, again we go through the scenery, onto the pipe. Or the pipe. You want to transition off here, hug the outside. And we're definitely making the speed check this time because we have plenty of speed. Now the blue section. Drive onto the pipe. These spinners aren't as aggressive, but you still do. They still do move your car, so you still have to be ready to just catch yourself if you, in case you're uh, they spin you somewhere. Back onto this pipe. Oh, a little bit of a clip there, but it's fine. And through the finish. Okay, and the red section again. Again, we want to stay as centered as possible. Little clip. Pretty sure we still make it. Yeah, even with a clip, you really you really build up all your speed on the plastic there, which is good. So again, remember to stay right here, because that spinner is going to drag you to the left. You need to be ready to catch yourself. And that is the red section. Um, now the black section, one more time. And what I'm going to do is, I'll go for the regular way, because I don't think I'll do the cut much. Uh, I couldn't get the scenery bounce consistent, uh, personally, so... I think the regular way, and the regular way isn't that much slower. Um, if you get a good cut, it's a little bit slower, but getting a good scenery bounce isn't... Yeah, I couldn't get it consistent, so... I think the, the regular way on black will be more consistent for me, and I don't think it'll be any slower, really. And jump through the finish. And that is Lit Lagoons by Zavik90. So yeah, I, I really like this map. Um, again, that's the, my only complaint I had was the, the green speed check, which... It's not, like, overly difficult. I just think it's too difficult for a green section uh, is basically what I'm what I'm trying to say there. I don't think you should have to get this corner that well to make the jump. Um, I think it should be more like blue. You really don't have to get the blue end well um, to make the jump. I, th I think it should be more like that, personally. Um, but, yeah, really solid map. I think he's done well. Uh, really fun to drive. Um, I mean, I, I really like driving on these pipes, so I was probably always going to like this map. And not too many cuts, like there was just this one cut which I think is viable for super, but I don't think people will go for it in regular royal matches. I think it's worth sending someone for this in super. Um, but I'll just drive it regularly. I think I can get regular way 100% consistent and around 30 second finishes. I think a good cut would probably be 23-24. I'm not 100% sure on this. Um, that's what I'm just guessing. But that requires a good scenery bounce, a good drop down. Like, yeah, it requires everything to go right. Whereas I think I can get this way 30 seconds consistently 100% of the time, which I think will be worth it. Um, but yeah, I hope this uh, guide helped you guys out. Um, and that will be all for the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.